Greetings, Survival Doc here. In other videos, I have denounced big government, pointing out some of the abuses that have become the norm for a central government which has become, by any standard, morally bankrupt and completely out of control. Uncontrolled spending, unsustainable debt, and unapologetic corruption are just three of the abuses that have become even more obvious since the recession. In this video, I intend to show an example of how these abuses are becoming the norm for some of our local governments as well. Let's take a ride. I will be using my biker cam and we will be taking a ride to a local government center just down the road. Today, we are going to take a look at an average, medium-sized Midwestern community. We will see a typical example of something that is happening in communities all across this nation. This massive city government structure was completed in the summer of 2008, in the middle of the worst economic recession that has hit this nation since the Great Depression. Do we really need this much government in a community of just 26,000 people? in a town that covers just 21 square miles? While everyone in the private sector has had to cut back on spending, governments at all levels have increased their spending and have written themselves raises and benefits. They simply raise the tax rates to make up for diminishing revenues and send the police out into the community to extort additional revenues through fines. Shouldn't governments also have to cut back during a recession? By easing the tax burden on the private sector, certainly it would aid the eventual economic recovery. It is a well-established fact that governments do not use economic resources as efficiently as the private sector. Governments do not produce anything. In fact, they take from producers. They take capital from the private sector, capital which otherwise would have been invested in the economy, producing more jobs, and then they redistribute that capital in the most inefficient ways imaginable. Peter Schiff said it best when he said to think of government as a cancer feeding off the private sector. The larger it grows, the more jobs it kills. Folks, to me, this building looks like an awful big cancer on the private sector in this community. Meanwhile, the recession continues to darken the sky over this community. I can't even begin to count the number of empty retail locations and businesses that are sitting idle, all within view of this monstrous government complex. Here on the west side of the government building, we see signs for lease, office space available. And on the other side, directly across the other street, more real estate for sale, for lease. For lease, more empty shops, a mirror, 500 feet down the road from our government complex. This shopping center is a mere 1,000 feet east of the government center, right down the same road. As you can see, there's one shop. The remainder is empty for lease. Up there on top of the hill is the empty shopping center I just showed you. Here is the property for sale. This property is right down the street, about 500, 700 feet from our government complex. There's the empty shopping center I just showed you. We're about another 100 feet up the street. Commercial for lease. For lease. They've also just raised our property taxes. With the uh, declining real estate market, our property values are down. Well, rather than cut back, what the government has done is they've raised 
our property tax rate. So this year, even though my property value is down, my property taxes actually went up. Like most municipalities, this city has seen a drop in their revenue. You can look around and you can see why. But that hasn't stopped them from, from spending. They've just raised our tax rates. And they've also instructed their police officers, apparently, to write more tickets. Because since the recession, there has been a plague of traffic tickets in this community. Usually, there's a cop car sitting right here in this vacant lot monitoring this street here and I never ever get out on this street without seeing at least one if not two cars pulled over with a cop riding a ticket. So it appears that the city as is the case with many cities across this country is attempting to make up for their lost revenues by having the police write more tickets. Well what do they call it when the police are out collecting tax money for the city. Sounds kind of like a police state to me. Is this where we're heading? This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. And there he is.